Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. From home, honey. This morning, I'm headed over to Sovereign Automotive, the shop where I have the uh, Rolls Royce being repaired. Uh, we've had um, some delays waiting on parts, uh, but I've heard that some of those parts have arrived. So we're gonna go check in with uh, Lev and with Stuart at the shop there and see how things are progressing. I'm really hoping to get this car home before we have uh, Snowfly because um, really it could be any time, you know, in the next month or so that we start having uh, snowfall. So I wanna get it back home sooner than later. So uh, we'll go get an update and see how things look. to find their shop it's the one with the row of derelict looking jags sitting out front I'll pull off to the side and park and we'll go pop inside so there she is up on the hoist um Stuart you were saying that you were waiting for a special part from Bentley to come in to take the suspension apart is uh, that right that's uh, that's this that's in okay um, so yeah this uh this tool is that tool okay so we're getting the uh shock absorber out and so does it compress the spring or something or yeah it uh, enables you to get it out of the vehicle and then uh, you put it into uh the um vice and then you use another spring compressor to compress the spring and then you can get the shocks out. and all of that because I had a shock absorber that was leaking. Uh, yes, you can see the oil still coming out of it. Yeah, I can see that. And uh, it's pouring down. So. so getting the shock wasn't the problem. It was getting it out that was uh, the problem. Yes, and uh, now, again, that's a challenge everywhere we go. Now we've got a new steering coupling, but the one that was supplied from Rolls is, um, is a modified version. So now we've got to sort of readapt this to get it to fit. Okay. Um, and the transmission is... Uh, the filter that leaks all been done um so so what's yeah. what's left on it would there's, you say there's, there's not too much we went for some brake pads when left took them out they were even though they the, the the thickness was good they were all old and starting to crumble so it wasn't worth it we put new brake pads in just because of the safety aspect yeah i saw that last uh, time so yeah. i mean They're once all in that's done yeah okay uh, this is not an issue that's going to wear off with use that's just surface rust oh yes yeah but, uh, so the calipers are all rebuilt uh new um pads we got a couple of suspension components to do uh all the new brake hoses brake lines and everything's done so oh i can uh, see yeah new new lines new hoses yeah. all the yeah. way through yeah all the um you can see at the back all the hoses and the main the main um got rid of the original steel lines and we've moved over to copper nickel uh, which means they won't corrode in the future. They're softer and more malleable to form. Okay. And uh, yeah, we just custom make them up based on the original, uh, the original um, specification samples. So this car should be pretty darn good condition once we're all through with it. Yeah, the, uh, it's got a new, the pan gasket's all done. Okay, yeah. This was just a bit of a bugger to get out because everything's been on there for years and everything corrodes and seizes. So we were just having a seep from the transmission? Yep, and it was leaking the pan, so we've got a new gasket filter. Okay. Uh, the valves are all in. There he is. <laughs> uh, the updated brake proportion and distribution valves, they're all in. Okay. We've got the new emergency brake cylinder in. All the lines that need replacing have been done. Um, so yeah, no, it's uh, it's getting closer. So um, the calipers are back, the uh, stuff waiting for, um, these are all in, shoes, new lines, they're all rebuilt. Lev's rebuilt all those. Uh, Lev, new I'm, pistons, seals. I'm guessing, Lev, this is you with your uh, dance music playing in here to get you in the mood first thing in the morning <laughs> working yeah, on cars. Yeah, a way to wake up somehow. <laughs> I see, you got it, you got it rocking is, and rolling uh, in here. Yes, this is, this is Rolls Royce showroom music. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, usually it's a classic music with Rolls Royce, but... Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's true, yeah. And, uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna lower it down and have a look-see. So Lev, uh, contrary to what you recommended, I went out and bought an FJ Cruiser anyway. Yeah, I heard that, and uh, like everyone, it's a matter of taste. If you enjoy 
you'll drive it. That's all like. Ah, it seems. It's same story like with the Dodge trucks and Chevy trucks. There is no black and white. If you love it, you love it. If you don't, you don't. By the way, I purposely kept the old steering coupling. Okay. So that's the old. Okay, yeah, it was shot. Like, I'm really glad that we found it because it's buried somewhere deep inside, but you can see that that's actually what connects your steering to the three ton vehicle. Uh, okay. And, and that was not an easy thing to spot, you said? Uh, no, it's, it's buried deep inside, so we, we grabbed a new one. Yeah. But it's been updated by, by Rolls Royce itself and a couple tiny changes required so we need to get longer bolts to make it run properly okay they were they just standard sort of bolts nothing too fancy uh, no i don't think so once again oh under, i see there's the uh under the bonnet we have two new brake brake pumps yeah one it's up here one it's buried down there okay somewhere. we have a new brake fluid cylinder that's uh, a big improvement reserve. i'm gonna walk over there by stewart and have a look because when we saw this last it was solid rust. It was rust. Like you said, they redid it in matte black. That's fine. I mean, it's meant to be sort of a nickel it's plate, I think. But it, uh, it suits, suits the appearance. It looks anyway. way better than black. Yeah, it looks fine. I mean, really, at the end of the day, who's going to get fussy about this being black and not it's, silver it's when the rest of this all needs yeah. to be cleaned up anyway? Yeah. Once again, it depends on what level of detailing you want to reach with this vehicle. Like, you can end up tearing everything apart and get it to original colors, everything matching, like, for jigs we have all the books and we get all the proper information about colors and everything so there is like there is restoration till forever if you bolt want bolt and screw level and there is a restoration to make it run and make it nice vehicle so it depends where you want to stop and mm, well i, I want to make it so i can at least drive it legally on the road first and then i'll deal with yeah you know, then you'll decide painting you some want. of this stuff and cleaning it up under yeah, here i want to recommend the, the biggest problem is that it's opening the can of worms because everything we touch it's getting way way deeper than we think right it's like every time you touch something one you get something else and but we're end up. we're closing the gap though we're getting to the end of it though i really hope that like during this week we'll be able like the brake system is complete so we'll be able to check it still has the this is quite pump. fun the rear brake pump was so corroded that the housing the reservoir we had to cut off to oh. get it separated from the brake pump itself normally there's an o-ring this slides off no way that was cut and then had to be chiseled to get it separated from the, the the corrosion it was just because of the water in the system right and what had happened was this at some point somebody left a cap off or something oh, it was just and water. water got inside it's not, completely, inside it's the not completely sealed system as you can see there are breather lines because the brake fluid expands and there are breather holes yep so the brake fluid itself is hydrophobic so it absorbs a lot of a lot of uh, moisture in it. Like usually newer vehicles, they tend to make a brake fluid when it absorbs too much moisture, it gets green. Yeah. So that's the time to replace it, same here. But it's set for a couple thousand years, so <laughs> this dinosaur that. became a little bit rough. We're gonna upgrade from dot two to dot four anyway, which um, means it absorbs less moisture in the system. Okay, so we shouldn't run into that. And yeah, no, no. Higher no, boiling no. points. So. Well, and it's going to be a functioning vehicle again. No, I'm going to no. be keeping my eye on and, and making sure that we're keeping you, up on if maintenance. If you run it, if you run it on daily base, you're also not getting too much moisture because it warms up, heats up. It, it's like it works. The biggest enemy of all these vehicles is sitting in the spot because like when you don't run, you die. It's same thing like you sit on the coach every day, so you feel here ache, here pain in the back, everything. Yeah. It, um, these cars need to be driven and they need to be uh, run yeah. in. So yeah. when, when you see a car and you think it's a good deal and it's been sitting for years, sometimes it's not such a good deal because you have to do a lot of work, which the is big, what we're finding out. Yeah. Biggest recommendation like for all the project owners, if you're planning to buy a project, make yourself a very, very high budget and all the money that you'll be able to save will be a bonus. And high be expectations yeah. as well. Well, and I think people don't understand that when you're negotiating on a car. Yeah 
like this. Like I, I got this card at a, what I think was a fair price because it needed all this work. But right. by the time I'm done all this, I could have just bought one that was already in nice shape. That's a possibility, yeah. Um, I don't think you can find a convertible. But that's the problem. Like, Yeah, there's not a lot of them around. The rarity there. of this bird, um, it's not like the regular sedan, you know, they're still available. But yeah, sedans are dime a dozen. The with this, it's that that commands a higher respect. Um, it needed to be saved. Yes, yes, absolutely. Somebody Since had to save it. Some of the cosmetic stuff in here, that can be done later. That's not, that doesn't affect it from driving. They can yeah. always revisit this, this Oh, stuff. sure, yeah, like you can take um, these uh, pots off and get polished, them polished. You and... know, this can all be repainted. It, it goes on and on and on, but you've got to We sort haven't of... We haven't dri dri driven it properly, so mm -hmm. like we cannot say what will be the next step like we opened the transmission the transmission was fairly clean inside like not gunned up not giant no giant chunks of metal floating around nothing in there. <laughs> like first of all i don't believe it has big mileage on it so it will be fairly must be fairly fairly good condition once again the biggest enemy of the con transmissions is also a moisture that was fairly clean inside we'll see we'll get the all the answers once we'll drive it we so, were we had a bit of a hold up with the alloy adapter for the uh, water pump and fan, but I'm scouring the world. Uh, we managed to find one. It's oh, wonderful! A rare bird, but uh, that's it, in transit as we speak. It's on its way. Okay. Yep. No, that's uh, it's. Uh, yep. Yeah. You go to all corners of the world, and wherever it is, it's it's available, and grab it. So we have to finish up the brakes. Check them. Like it's already the the brakes, done. Brakes are, brakes are already on the level of final checking because we have all the pads in, all the lines installed. It took some close to 40 feet of lines to be installed. Like at some point I ran out of swear words, so I need to remove <laughs> them. Uh, Did you switch over to Ukrainian swear words after? I believe I <laughs> learned a lot of new swear words. <laughs> you developed the Rolls Royce Twitch. Oh yeah, I see. <laughs> it's sort of like your head sort of... <laughs> Do but this, but, uh, the, the brake system needs to be checked. Once the brake system functional on the hoist, we'll take it off the hoist, we'll drive it, we'll see how it stops, if it's functioning properly, the suspension, the brakes. Then we will be able to take it at least to highway speeds to see what's going on with the engine on, under the loads, when it warms up, like the major things. For us, at first of all, the most beneficial thing is to stop it. Once we are able to stop it, then we are able to drive it and see what's yes. going on further. Because, and like, make it run here for 10 minutes, you can't check the engine itself. But so this is uh, the last step. So it, do you think I'll be able to drive this thing home before we get snow? <laughs> uh, not in Alberta. Not because enough. you can get the snow tomorrow. You don't know, never. But yeah, he, I... I'm scared to say things like that because so every time we touch something, we we explore something new. Something else, yeah, okay. And I I wouldn't like prepare for a worst case scenario. Everything you get before it, it's a bonus because like. Uh, well, you know, yeah. we'll we'll keep plugging away at it. I mean, you guys have made uh, such a big dent in what it needs that you know. Yeah, there we're was there. a huge list. There is a really, really huge list. And like the shock was a big bump because we started to pull it with the regular tools that we had in the shop. And we ended up stopping the work because we couldn't work without proper Bentley tool. And was waiting for the tool. And then you're waiting for the parts, tool parts, tool parts. And then that steering coupling showed up once again ah, out of nowhere. So, well, you know. Yeah. I guess we'll just, we'll leave it with you guys. Um, once it's out of here, I still have to get it to, into, get the bumper repaired and get the top finished. It does have a top on it now, which it hasn't had in probably, you know, 15 years. Uh, but the, some of the trim work and detail needs to be finished up on it. So, um, well, thank you. I still did the gorgeous job on it. Like, yeah, it just, so. it just needs a little, some trim and some finishing, but uh, it's stretching out nicely and it's, uh, it's nice that it has a top again. Because, I mean, nobody likes to see... Uh... No, we prefer them topless. Oh, you prefer, oh, you prefer them topless. Okay, but maybe you should turn that to de techno dance music back on. We'll have the exactly, topless rules. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. I hope we'll get further with it as soon as possible and we'll be able to... I can't promise you the first drive on it because I'll have to drive it first. <laughs> oh, no, that's second, fine. Second drive, we hope you'll be able to drive it. <laughs> we'll get in there. No, it's looking good. The, the irony is this is the car I own and that guy has the car that I want, you know? And it's so funny that uh, you have your 
sort of, I wouldn't say dream car, but I mean, if people always say, if you had to have another car, what would it be? And there, there it is, there's one right there. But uh, he's in the same boat I'm in. I seem to like cars that end up in the shop for a really long time, you know? You, you like the looks of them, but then they need a lot of work and... This one's been here for like close to two years. Okay, well, we're gonna, we're making better progress on this. Rolls, we'll, yeah. we'll be seeing that one up on the road before this long. This one will, like, hopefully the, the Rolls will see the road way before the E-Type because... Yeah, well, the E-Type was a major job. That's, that's engine that's and... Actually, the, with the E-Type, it was a little bit more than he was able to bite. Okay, so you're just so, doing in stages to help the, the exactly, client. Exactly, in the end of the web day, we need to get money for... Oh yeah. What we work for, so of course, a tiny bit more than he was able to buy it, and then stop here, wait for parts, get cheaper parts, get more pricey parts. Yeah. But yeah, you want to see the engine for this one? Oh sure. Yeah. So the engine had to be rebuilt in this. This one here is going to be detailed to be matching colors and everything. Oh yeah, no, it looks great. Completely rebuilt. It needs to be washed down, but. Does the complete fully rebuilt original engine that came out of the car. Like Champion the plugs, the whole thing, yeah. Everything that came out of the factory and looks like a factory we were trying to get, restore, find, rebuild, repaint, powder coat, whatever you name it. But Well, I'm sure he'll be happy once he gets it back on the road. But thank you guys for working on my car and getting it back together. We appreciate you to be our customer. Another thing, Alex, Lev, he did find his 10 mil socket in the Lotus. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> but he did find his 10 mil socket. His 10 mil socket was missing. A quarter penny. There, there you go. Well, thanks again, Lev. All right, guys. Have a nice I'll be back to my work. Okay. Bye. I'll meet you there. Yep. I am going to let uh, Lev and Stuart continue to work on the Rolls Royce. So I said any day, you know, you could get a snowfall at any time at this time of year in Canada, September, October. It's a wild card whether something's going to happen. So um, they want to get the car out of the shop. Uh, Lev was saying it's kind of, <laughs> I don't know if he'll like me saying this because he's married, but he said it's like, you know, when you first get married and you're super excited and then you just, you know, <laughs> you're kind of just used to it. Um, anyway, he said he's ready for the car to leave. I think the shop is like done looking at my car. <laughs> he's fallen out of love with it. So uh, at any rate, we're going to try and get the car back because it, when I get it back, it's going to be like brand new again for me. Um, so with any luck, that thing will come home soon. Um, but in the meantime, oh my goodness, in the meantime, I got another lead on another car. And I'm not even really looking for another car, but when you hear that there's a classic car that's partly restored and it might be cheap, you gotta go have a look. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm going off to look at another car and these things find me. I don't know what to tell you other than the fact that this stuff just finds me. So stay tuned for more episodes. Uh, who knows what adventure is gonna await next. Um, thanks for watching guys. We'll see y'all soon and bye for now.